What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So the round of where we left off last time, I was keeping the gas on and we're going to attack and secure the city of Boston. Let's crack on. Because yeah, right now, uh, things are very delicate in Europe. We're at war with the French the Prussians and now the Ottomans so we really need uh, well to keep keep my foot on the gas uh, in the in the Americas keep capturing territory and keep expanding our tax base to help us better fight off uh, the enemy in Europe to hold our own there is a certain problem in my strategy in that I'm raising all these forces in the Americas to continue the fight in the Americas, which I have to do, but I'm not following that with a similar investment in forces in Europe. aggressively push up because they've got a lot they've got some, some good artillery positions so I want them dealt with we've got some guard artillery to the front but it's mostly the mortars to the rear that I'm concerned about not concerned about their puckle guns because those are just curiosities that are just amusing they're not actually good So my army is probably not going to stop running this entire fight because we got some ground to make up. Yeah, they're going to intercept me with some cuirassier, which is a problem. But not one that's going to uh, hold up our position. We've dropped the relevant infantry into square. You push on to assault the guns, their artillery. Engage cuirassiers to the rear. Push on. started to engage some of their skirmishes. It's okay, so let's start to push you guys up to support that fight. It looks like these units are going to be the ones to engage their main force. Which isn't bad because they've got lots of grenadiers for backup. These guys are going to obliterate the uh, Obliterate the enemy. We'll obliterate these skirmishers, that's for damn sure. Yep, there they go. You guys take out take out the artillery. Fortunately they're aiming at they're aiming at units that were too close go. First militia unit deploying to intercept. Come on. Well, then you guys start opening up because that is this is their centre of gravity. Good 
charge onto this block of forces here. You guys can engage the enemy there. You guys push on. Close range artillery fires, putting the hurt onto some of my infantry. Yeah, their infantry's broken. They will break, there it is. There we go. So they've got Curacier. I definitely made my my infantry attack their Curacier, but it looks like they're going to change their mind. Charging in. You guys drop into square. Don't take the bait. You guys get out of square. March behind. Fire went off. You guys fire it well off. Also go and attack the general's bodyguard. These horse guard, these crassiers, they, they mean business. But unfortunately for them, they are charging a square. Which, even though they might be heavy cavalry, uh, that might not be enough. Especially when the 4th Grenadier Regiment starts to get some excellent shots into their flank. Some of them will. There we go. Let's just stop the artillery. You guys stop firing. Unfortunately, we are. Yeah, I was about to say we're attacking Cassier. In it with a big blob of men, which isn't necessarily the best formation to go for. But it'll do. That's a good, quick, short, sharp victory over the garrison at Boston. Obviously we can't actually do all the stuff we'd like to do. Um, I, do we need another university? Probably not, but because they don't hate us and our garrison's likely to stay there for some time. We'll go for your organised procurement. Again, it, it, it's impactful on the upkeep side, but it's the recruitment side we're now starting to worry about. Ideally, next turn, this guy can... Well, it'll be two turns. If I can time it just right, I can get a good, I can get a good front here for a potential peace deal. Falmouth needs to pick up some militia just to put them off. <laughs> you guys are going to attack Antigua. And they likely will need to, will need to stay there um, because of the amount of forces that the new Spaniards can bring to bear. And we've seen it. They're not necessarily good forces, but they are significant in number. So we can't really afford to put a a subpar army there, especially if they're going to sit there on their own. Okay. But let's just drop a couple of battle lines. Artillery back here, just to plink at long range. Cavalry can hold out in the centre because everyone else is just going to run up. Now the artillery is going to focus on these mortars that are probably going to fire quick climb at us. And because this is not a very interesting battle, I'm just going to speed up time. <laughs> because, yeah, they've got a militia unit, a couple of militia units, some mortars, and that's about it. More infantry is showing up, but it's it's just not very it's not very good. A couple of units, a couple of turns of actual fire. 
is just going to chew them, chew them to bits. Like there you go. They switched to quick line, but we're already in. We're too short range. Their artillery unit is destroying all their mortars with round shot, which was quite surprising. Uh, focus fire their general with my artillery wherever he is. Let's just speed this up, because it's not it's not a proper battle. It's just going to take time, time out of the part that would otherwise be more. You, it would be. You know, I have to fight this because it's well, obviously because they are because they're mortars. It's the the crew that are the concern. because they break so easily you don't actually get the opportunity to do as much damage to them as you'd like which results in them sticking around a lot longer take him out bayonet fire you guys are not going to stand because you're armed citizenry and these guys likely won't stand to uh such an absolutely overwhelming amount of infantry. Yeah, it, w it was likely... Uh, it was a bit longer, but it was we would not have got that ratio. That's all, that's all I'll say. If I auto-resolved it. And obviously I did try and surrender. I did try and demand surrender, but they didn't take it. Okay, let's get rid of the fishery and turn it to a trade port. And then I think I probably need to hit end turn and watch... Um, stuff unfold, I think. And I think this is probably going to result in the attack on uh, Tunisia. Yeah, we're heading back to the capital. Yeah, you can't cross though, not because of those fourth, because of those fourth rates. The Prussians are definitely going to be here. The advantage of taking Paris is that I can get away with. Ooh, do I want to intercept? Probably. Yes, but I will likely want this. Maybe something like that. Afterwards, it can be a bit of mix and match whoever but we are going to intercept near Tunisia just so we have the advantage but if I'm deploying in the town I'm gonna want to move out of the town to deploy because I want I need those fields of fire I need the open ground I don't want to get I can't get tied up in city battles against the, the Ottomans because unit for unit they're, they're pretty good when it comes to melee combat so yeah, I don't want that I want to sit back here um, I want their formations to be broken up by the time they leave that city which they will do if they, when they push through it their posi positions will be broken up we need to hold here for as long as it takes to bring up some reinforcements because we could last a reasonable time here but not forever oh my that's not good Hopefully this is the militia coming from the port. Come on, let me pick you. Stop! I wanted them to try and fire on the nomads. This is my proper army coming in. Good. So we're going to be stronger on the right than we are the left. And it's ironically, it's the left where their reinforcements are coming in. Yes. 
Go on, Militia, you can take him out. Militia v Camels, who wouldn't take that a bit? Okay, let's limber up this artillery piece. So make, I can make a more concerted front line. Now I know where things are coming in. Well, actually, I suppose I want you three guns. Stupid empire. There we go. Yeah, my militia captain died. Probably something more like that. Those guns are okay where they are. You can stop firing. And that's not annoying at all. Why they've decided to start coming in. Look animals off Noah's Ark. Square, so yeah, these guys are going to get chewed up because they're deploying in a, such a weird way. They're going to be all strung out when the enemy shows up. Look, they know it. So I'm going to have to push... Push some infantry up to draw them off. Because look at that for a dumb formation to come in. Although I can't, no, I can't risk... Kind of work, though. Drop into square formation with a pair of you. elements are all pushing up. Cast a shot that Malibu guard unit. Don't break up. I mean, they're gonna break just because. Don't break the square. Are well, they break the square? Hopefully, they push on. These are Muslim, so they're not. Overly concerned about them. Look at run back. Camels hit the one unit that's not in square, which again isn't surprising. Boy, well, how it says, charge our colonial line into the side of these Muslim. Charge you into the Muslim as well. As long as like, these guys hunker down in square and stay in square, they'll have a good shot. Just 
sake of that Janus reason, it's not good. So this flank's doing fairly okay. You guys have to push in against them. You guys need to push up towards the sec ban. Colonial Light, let's get you involved. You're now engaging the Janissary Musketeers that are coming along, coming on in massed formation. Charge the back of these sec bands. How it's just limber up, turn on carcass shot and try and engage. Come on, come on, deploy straight. You guys are limber. The Madari horsemen are routing. Cavalry charge onto the archers. Demi cannons push up onto this hill. Carcass shot coming in against Janissary Musketeers. Beating the cavalry offensive on the left. You guys push up. You guys start to pound the semi Janissaries. You guys push east. Okay. Hit the Armenian archers. No longer a target. You guys go off the camel nomads. You guys. Also, go after Camel Nomads. You guys get out of formation. Position to engage. Someone, you guys pull back. Turn off fire at will. Colonial cavalry go in there against those camel. Damn camel nomads. Camel light, light horse should be able to make it past there before the guns fire. Hit the Armenian archers, you guys hit the Janissary Musketeers. There we go, there go the Armenian archers. You guys fall back to your cannon line. A new cannon line. Who's going to be loading up? Cast a shot. To deal with the Israeli. It's just provincial cav, so it's understandable that those guys run away. How it says just continue to open up on whoever you can reach, which is increasingly starting to not be enough of our force. Starting to take out the camel nomads. It'd be handy if we could start to knock some of them out with my canister shot. You go after the Muslim. Demi cannons are down, which I can understand. Howitzers just get over here. Just generally over here. You go smash into the Janissary Musketeers. Uh, the cavalry unit. Good. Go, 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 go. So, my intention is to use my right flank to push. You guys form into a belated square. You guys start to canister shot those Israeli. You canister shot those Janissaries.
something like that. Close range shot against the Israeli. Again, the key problem with the Ottomans is the quality of their troops. They're great when they start to overwhelm you. As soon as they stop overwhelming you, you've got a shot. If our howitzers can get into a better position, that would be wonderful. So the Mamelukes are coming right at us. Oh, this regiment of infantry actually came back. Okay, you can probably limber up. Realistically, we just need our line to be a bit more coherent. The Mamelukes have been pushed back. Start to blink at the Camel Nomads with canister shot. Artillery can go up behind the gun line. Ooh, starting to charge us, and they're going to go after the militia, is the weak point. Again, it's the right call, but uh, they're going to eat a volley first. And these Nizam light infantry shouldn't stay around for too much longer unless they're aiming at a different target. start pivoting because those Israeli are a bit of a, a symptom of what comes next. I see you. Come on. You guys and you guys you guys form up our reserve. Let's drop. To sort of an offensive position. So you've got some Janissary Grenadiers marching up, We're starting to get some of their artillery to show up. Just get into position and start lobbing shells. So there's the Bashi Bazooks. Yeah, they've taken a bit of a hammering. Yes, there they go. unit back here, switch to round shot and start to engage the organ gun that's moving up.
the howitzers are almost in position, and then I'm feeling back in control. Good stuff. So those Israeli, they're going to stick around for a bit because they've still got a good number of men. But in general... Good job you got your pistols out, fellas. Heaven forbid you actually use those other things you're carrying. First regiment of foot on your line is wavering under the, under the muzzle of the organ gun. Both our artillery pieces focus fire that damn gun. Howitzers focus fire. Uh, immediate battlefield targets like a firework display so it was the left hand gun that was aiming at them so you try to aim at that unit of musketeers we've got archers pushing around the left I think though what they've got on the battlefield is what they've got Yes, we took out one of their guns as they were manoeuvring. Impressive, though. Oh, here come the sec bands once more. But they're going to be bloodily repulsed. My men are starting to run out of ammunition, though. Why are you going to start to rely on how In which case, sometimes our, one of our artillery pieces has to be used to try and whittle down these battlefield targets. My cavalry can chase down these archers, no trouble. I remember Rome. 300 Armenian archers. Over the hills come my cavalry. They let loose. Charge! Good stuff. So we'll keep an eye on when these units start to run out of ammo, like you. You fall back, but immediately get replaced. Gun's been defeated. Right, defeat. Right, death. Oh, I think it's just you guys. Just these guys. No, don't deploy like that. Deploy in position. weakest unit. You guys go knock out the organ gun. Everyone else. Head towards the centre. Even though you may be just African native infantry, that's good enough. A 
It's a rifleman trying to charge my artillery, my cavalry. Okay, pretty sure my artillery, this gun team is caused, causing more grief than it can actually fix. In come the howitzers. Tears. You guys hit these chaps. General, let's get you involved. Start to clear out some of these enemies. Although that's my, now my colonial light that's upset. Retarget my howitzers to hit that unit of Israeli. At least that the general can sense the defeat. So you guys knock out the riflemen. You guys knock out those janissaries. You guys knock out those infantry guards. To be honest, you guys are only good for melee. In you get. Guard mode off. When they break, chase them down. The age of the Ottomans is over. The time for the Maltese have come. The times of the Maltese, the time of the Maltese has come, maybe the other one. May as well get the remnants of our cavalry to chase down. Uh... You'll probably just have to go after the riflemen, because those guys are near enough to the battlefield edge to rout. Which is a shame, but there we are. Can't have everything thought this battle was going really downhill and it kind of was um but it was a good battle actually close victory it was close potentially blown from that reinforcing army coming in, in a terrible direction but they now have 1700 men remaining and they're pushed back away and pinned against the coastline where we can rebuild grow our strength and then push along the North African coast. Quick lime shells research, they would have been handy not very long ago. So you guys replenish, just take out Suleiman Isat. He is destroyed. March here just to block them at least so they can't go anywhere annoying and do raiding let's replenish let's pick up these vineyards We've got france keep you guys marching onwards because if we could take paris that would be useful it would, would it? it would be useful but also uh, yes lots of good opportunities here you don't need a coaching in because you're already happy building here you guys can become a craft workshop let's pick up the new roads and Tigua is ready to start contributing to the greater Maltese Empire uh, there's nowhere convenient really to advance our front line here except maybe New York but I think the general idea of building up forces is a good one Although Quebec is running out of people rapidly. Oh, that Panama, you were a new town. I see. Okay, let's hop back over to Europe. Because then we're going to hit Tripoli. Take that back. And then we're going to start squeezing Cairo, I think. 
in Europa. You guys have researched your troops. Ah, Ponzio de Amico. You need artillery, my friend. There we go. Although you definitely don't need all that elite infantry now. The infantry you're recruiting are actually going to go to forming your own army. But ideally you would take Paris. Capture Paris. Take it. Make peace. Push all the French back. Build the front line. Focus on the Ottomans. Again, to just to try to drive them to the point where they can no longer make war on us. We are three turns away from steam engines. Although, if I took... Evora, oh no, Evora is actually quite a good university. You may as well stay on it. Hartford, do you do shrapnel shot? No, you probably do carronades. Or do you do selective breeding to get the increase in wealth generated from farms? Because now I'm starting to get lots of farms. That looks like it would be a worthwhile endeavour. Lots of troops recruited in Spain and New France and in Maine. Obviously all these buildings are all still broken. But let's send you out to secure Plymouth. Good. Ready to provide 390 gold to the Empire. 23,000. Oop. Hold on. I've pulled out my own headset connector. There we go. Um... Okay, so things are going okay. Let's go to New Spain. Oh, we're unfriendly. Let's go to Greece. Let's try trade with Greece. Because where is Greece positioned? Greece is just Patras now. They're a protectorate of the United Provinces and they're trading with everyone in the United Provinces. What's your relationship with Prussia? Allies of Prussia. Damn. Moogles. Peace. Trade. Nope. Uh, pressure. Peace and trade. Try the Ottomans. No, I'm not going to offer. I won't, won't, I won't just take peace with them. Not yet. I could push forward and take Tripoli. That's not going to be a problem. Got some good forces down here. So I'm going to hit end turn see what happens with an idea of ending the episode on something interesting. And I'm marching towards... Um, towards Boston. Still in strength. Huh. So the chaps at Boston might be a bit... Uh, a bit tr it might be a bit tricky for them. Unless I storm Paris in a turn and make peace with the French. Which they may or may not go for. The, I don't like how the Swedish are loading up a, an army into their ships. Although I like it if it's to go east. I will like it if it's to go east. Go on, Greece. Trade with us. We are good friends, you and I. I want to see your your uh, territories restored. Yeah, raids in New Haven. Uh, understandable, really. Um, I think, really, they're coming for us. That's what they're doing. So I'll set you guys to replenish as much as you can. You guys need to... Well, the trouble is we can't. We can no longer recruit massively from Quebec because they've got no people to recruit from. So maybe these fellas may have to redeploy away from the front. Although this might be a useful bargaining tool with New Spain. Hmm, there's no forts nearby, no good terrain... I think. Hmm. 
What I'm definitely inclined to do is to hit Montreal. Maintain siege. You guys act as a deterrent in this sector. Got 21,000. So, Mr. Ricoli, hit Sedovat Husrev. Auto resolve to take him out. And you guys can replenish. You've got a lot of replenishing to do. Let's take out these militia units and instead replace them with proper infantry. So this is an army that can be sent um, east. So let's take our fourth rate and have a look at what we're dealing with. So around the Cairo front. We've got some forces. Let's go along to Jerusalem. We can't get a good eyes on because they've got some ships in port. They've not got that many men near the front. It makes me wonder, is it because they can't actually uh, maintain standing forces anymore? Possibly. So the Cairo push might be a profitable one. Onward into toward, towards Jerusalem, but Jerusalem itself isn't isn't a uh, a particularly wealthy region. Upgrade the roads here. Upgrade the port to commercial basin. Upgrade this port to commercial basin. But I think. The main thing to do is this. Because this battle will be what dictates quite a lot of my next strategies. If I can take Paris, I'll get the school. They'll hate me. So there might be lots of rebellions. But if I can make peace, I can slowly build up forces in Paris. Um, but chiefly, I'll be able to maintain my holdings in the Americas. Maybe. And, I mean, I know I might lose Montreal, I might get pushed back from Montreal, and that's fine. Um, but then it just stabilises the front a bit more, because if I take Paris, we still don't have a front line with Prussia. So, these Prussian stacks coming over the hill aren't a concern yet. And we are still buying time for us to get steamships, not steamships, first-rate ships of the line. So I think this is the only thing to do right now um but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for the assault on paris which will be quite pivotal for this campaign cheers everyone